Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at the kinetic theory of gases. So let's get started. Now, the kinetic theory of gases is also known as the kinetic model. And it says here that the kinetic model explains how gases behave. Consider a fixed mass of gas trapped inside a sealed container, just like shown in this picture here. Inside the container, the gas particles are moving constantly in all directions at you randomly. So you'll see that represented by the arrows on the picture. They are not all travelling at the same speed. They frequently collide with each other and with the walls of the container. This also causes them to change speed. When they hit the walls of the container, they exert a force per unit area, thus creating a pressure. And it then goes on to say that when the temperature of a gas increases, the average kinetic energy and therefore the average speed of the particles increases. But the opposite is also true, so when the temperature of a gas decreases, the average kinetic energy and therefore this average speed of the particles decreases. And just to help you visualise this, I'm going to show you a quick simulation. So here I've got my sealed container and I'm going to pump in some gas particles so that we can look at what they do. So you'll see here that we've got an average speed labelled on the top left, and this is the average speed of all the particles moving in this container. And you'll see the average speed is quite random at points because, remember, the particles are moving about all randomly in different directions and hitting off each other and with the walls of the container. So this is causing their speeds to change. And the average speed here, you'll notice, is ranging from about 450 to just over 460 metres per second. But if I increase the heat energy here, and increase the temperature of my gas, you should notice that the average speed of the particles is rapidly increasing there. And this means that the kinetic energy of the particles has increased. If I now cool down the gas, then we can see that the particles should slow down and their average speed should get much lower. So this means that the kinetic energy of the particles has decreased because they're no longer moving as much as they were before. Going back to the notes now, it's worth pointing out that you will use the kinetic model of gases or kinetic theory of gases to explain how the three gas laws work. So Boyle's law, Gay-Lussac's law and Charles's law, also known as the pressure volume law, the pressure temperature law and the volume temperature laws. So you'll be explaining how these three laws work in terms of the kinetic model, i.e. in terms of particles moving in a box or a container. And it's important that when you do explain these gas laws in terms of the kinetic model, that you talk about the particles in the sealed container. So you'll notice the words I've put in bold, the fact that particles are moving constantly in all directions, randomly, the fact that the particles will collide frequently with the walls of the container, and the fact that they will exert a force per unit area and therefore a pressure. These are all things which you'll need to mention in your explanations so that they are using the kinetic model. And lastly, it's also very important that if you're dealing with a situation where temperature changes, then you need to talk about what happens to the average kinetic energy of the particles. So if temperature goes up, remember average kinetic energy of the particles goes up as well, but if temperature goes down, the average kinetic energy of the particles goes down. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.